and had to just, you know, um, exhibit or do I say release the sort of stress they went through after the game by getting onto the pitch. Why? Let the security persons know that they are not the only uh, government workers, so we are all government workers. We've, we've left our various posts here to support the Black Stars. We've lost, we've played a good match. Yes, so they, they, are, they are here what, beating our, our, our people. Is it possible? Is it done? Where is it done? So, uh, Toby, is it back? Uh, the reaction of the fans uh, very much furious after the game yesterday. Michael, this, you know, reaction from the fans, what message is this sending to, <laughs> to the team and to all other Ghanaians? You know, it was interesting. After the game, I sort of was walking behind the pitch because I wanted to get a few videos of the Black Stars approaching the fans and, uh, you know, and, and, and that sort of thing. And then there were one or two water bottles that flew from that side. Then there was a pitch invader, you know, eventually slapped by a policewoman. Then the players decided that it was not the best of things to approach the crowd. So they sort of walked this way. Uh, and then afterwards, you know, there was a lot of... So the moment one of the guys was arrested, mm -hmm. I think the same pitch invader and was taken away by the scruff of their of the, of the, of the clothes and all that. I think it generated a bit of anger. And then the water bottles became more intensive at some point. There were about six heavily armed military men who were pulled in from the press section where we are standing, walked through here to the other side before the fans subsided. I think our man Clifford uh, did a brilliant job in capturing it, which is why it's just, well, the videos from there is the one that has done the rounds worldwide. But it's also an image that sort of speaks to the, the chaos that we, we tolerate in Ghana football. This should never happen. The amount of bottles and the rest that was lying down was, was, was just not correct. And I think it's a problem as well that people don't realize that for every pitch invasion, it costs Ghana $10,000. It doesn't make any sense. And I really hope that we will strengthen security and the rest. Look, everything around modernizing football, access into the stadiums, where you sit, uh, giving people a better match day experience. I knew a lot of people who came into the stadium yesterday just to enjoy themselves and things like this does not add any quality to the time that people want to have when they come here. Well, very unfortunate one in the at the Barbara Sports Stadium. Let's take a quick look at some of the results that came up on uh, Thursday. Malawi uh, suffered a 2-3 loss at the hands of Burundi. Guinea-Bissau won a Swatini nail. Central Africa Republic 3, Lesotho 1 and then Congo 1, Sudan nail. Uh, Ghana lost by a goal to nail to Angola. Tunisia uh, defeated Madagascar by one goal to nail. And then Algeria also ensured that a 2-0 victory over Equatorial Guinea was good for a start.